guys, it's Rain here, so I have a video I haven't filmed in forever, an empties video. I feel like I don't have that many empties, but like I have like big size empties, so it just looks like so much. So yeah, I figured I'd film this video, share with you guys my garbage, tell you some reviews, if I'd, if I'd buy them again or not, and yeah, so let's not waste any time, this video might be a long one, who knows. I'd recommend getting a tea or some water, stay hydrated, it's summer now. And a snack. Get a snack. Alright, so these are all the goodies, so let's get into it. So I used up these Huggies Natural Care Baby Wipes. I basically use them to remove makeup or swatches. I actually bought face halos, so I don't think I'll be buying any replacements to need this box or anything. So yeah, they were. Like, they were just as good as baby wipes in my I mean, they were just as good as makeup wipes in my opinion. And they're a lot cheaper and you get more, so yeah. I used up this bottle of Scope mouthwash. I like mouthwa mouthwash. I like my mouth feeling fresh. I prefer the Crest, the Crest 3D White mouthwash. I don't know, it doesn't burn and like it just feels so much nicer in my mouth. So yeah, this isn't bad. Like, it tastes like mouthwash. But yeah, I prefer the Crest. I used up this Bath & Body Works Pure Paradise body lotion the other day. It smells really, really good. My cousin really, really liked it. it smells so summery. It's so summery. And yeah, it's really, really nourishing. So yeah. I used up this Secret Key Nature Recipe Mask Pack in Honey. Love sheet masks. Like this brand. I have more from this brand. No complaints. I used up this Sensodyne Deep Clean uh, Toothpaste. I brought this with me when I went away on vacation in the Dominican. Um, I actually really like this. I've never used that Sensodyne before, and I got a little sample of it, and yeah, I liked it. I used up this Tony Moly Changing Magic Foot Peeling Shoes. I bought this for my mom. I used it on her. Um, her feet haven't really peeled a lot yet. I feel like it's been a week or so, and they haven't really peeled as much as baby feet, so I don't know how I feel about this. She's not home to check them out, but yeah, it, it hasn't peeled that much. I used up this Crest Whitening Plus Scope Citrus Splash Toothpaste. If you don't like peppermint toothpaste, this is great. It's not like pepperminty at all. It's very like sweet. So yeah, if you don't like peppermint, which most toothpaste are, I recommend checking out this. I used up the Sugar Plum Bubble Bath Bar. Blush. I really really liked it. It compares really good to the comforter. I really like both those bath bombs. I mean bubble bars. Um, I think I prefer the comforter one but this the sugar plum one or whatever it's called maybe I'll insert a picture if I remember is really really nice. I used up a oh, 350 cotton swabs. They're from soft soft swabs. They're just from the dollar store. They're $1.25 for 350 I use them to fix my makeup. I use them after the shower just to rinse out my ear. I know you're not supposed to put them in your ear, but I kind of do. And yeah, they're dollar. I used up this David's Tea Guava Cadabra. I, I enjoyed this tea. It was really, really good. Um, especially for the summer cold, it would be great. But yeah, you don't really need to put sugar in it. It's just like, it's naturally like kind of sweet flavored. So yeah, it's really, really nice. I think David's Tea does something if you bring back the tins, they take like 10 cents off your purchase or something. I don't know, so yeah, I'm gonna keep this, figure it out, and if they do, I'll return it just cause... Recycling. Re 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 reduce, reuse, recycle. I used up this Essence Get Big Lashes, the Volume Boost Waterproof. I used to love this, this was my holy grail back in the day when I'd go to, uh, when I'd go swimming in that in the summer. Um, I think this just went off because when I brought it to the Dominican, my eyes were so itchy and irritated once I put this on. So yeah, I'm just gonna check it. But it is a really, really good mascara, like if it's new. I think this one's just old and went bad. But yeah, I recommend it. It's so affordable. It's like $3 and like, it's great. I used up this Nair Tahitian Gardenia. Um, it's a no-strip resin wax for your legs and body. I used this a good amount of times. But I actually broke off the pot little popsicle stick and like, I don't know, there's just not that much left and I feel like I'm not going to use it and I feel like it's like gone off by now. So yeah, it was good, it worked, it pulled out my hairs. But yeah, I think I'd rather just get my hairs pulled out by someone than do this because I'm lazy and yeah. 
But yeah, it's good. It has like a kind of nice scent. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about the scent, but it does have a scent. And you get a lot. You get like a good amount for your buck. So I used up an Intuition little razor head. I think this was like the pomegranate one. It makes it shaving so quick and easy. No complaints. I used up these Pure Derm Vitalizing Orange Pads. They're kind of like sheet masks. You just put them on your face. They're in like little spots. They kind of dried out a bit. I don't know. They were cute. They were cool. Like they were cute, but like I just found myself never really reaching for them. I used up Fluffs Cotton Pads. A hundred of them from the dollar store. These are like in all my empties. I used up this Nature's Bounty Biotin. Helps maintain healthy hair and skin. 100 soft gels. I think if this was on sale, I'd buy it again because I don't I don't really didn't really notice much of a difference in my hair I'd say I did feel like my nails were a lot stronger and the one day I was rubbing my eyelashes Like I was just rubbing them and I noticed that they just felt like thicker and like stronger So yeah, I feel like these work. I used up this Ellingwood soap company French lavender soap. It's a nice cute big bar of soap. It has like stuff in it Like I want to say like lavender probably no complaints it lathered it made me feel clean the one thing was i felt like it like got like really like gel like like when it was wet like you know when soap gets gel like am i the only one that I, am i the only one that knows what i mean like when like the soap just gets like so like wet or hot and like it kind of like starts to like get jelly and like peel off like you can you can easily peel it off like i don't know anyways no complaints i'm throwing out these little hooks I got off of eBay. They're just all hanging necklaces. I, they're just like not strong enough for my necklaces that they just keep falling off. The back came off of this one completely. So yeah, they were cheap and nice and like they were cute. Like they worked for me, but my necklaces are just too heavy and I have too many. I used up this Bioderma um, Sebum Matte Control Lotion. Uh, I like this. You really don't get a lot in this though, I feel. But it does make your skin matte and it didn't irritate my skin and I felt moisturized so. I used up another one of these Secret Key Nature Recipe mask packs. This one in pomegranate. Again, no complaints. It felt really nice on my skin. I used up more baby wipes, the Huggy Special Edition. Like I said at the beginning of the video, I use face halos now, but these do work if you want another alternative to makeup wipes and I feel like you get way more of these for a cheaper price than makeup wipes. I used up this Sugar Perfume by Fresh. Um, I wasn't crazy about it. I didn't hate it, but like I wouldn't go in my way to buy it. I'm also really picky with scents though. I used up this Lush Dream Cream Hand and Body Lotion. I'm pretty sure I actually ended up really, really like liking this. It was really nice. Smelt really natural. And yeah, like I don't know, it just smelt really natural and it felt good on your skin. I used up this St. Tropez Tan Optimizer. It's basically just a body moisturizer. I've had this for ages. I don't know if mine went off, but like the whole time I had it, the whole time I had it, I just felt like it was kind of more like watery. Like it didn't really feel like it did a lot of moisturization for my skin. So yeah, I don't know if it went bad or what, but not the biggest fan. I used up this mask bar, luminizing charcoal peel off mask. It was all right. St some stuff came out of it. Um, I'm not really a fan of masks. That like you have to squeeze it out of like a foil packet. I'd much rather have like a squeeze bottle or something. Wouldn't go out of my way for this. I used up this Secret Outlast Complete Clean Antiperspirant. Works, I don't stink. I used up this Sea and Tree Snail Mask Sheet. Uh, sheet mask. I liked it. Felt nice on my skin. Felt good for a good pamper day. I used up this, the Body Shop Vanilla Delight Bath Bomb. I feel like I don't remember this being that moisturizing or it made the water like feel like normal, like it didn't feel moisturizing, but when I came out, I didn't feel the need to lotion my body. I can't remember, but I buy these again to try them out again. I used up this Better Than Sex Too Faced Mascara. I don't know if mine was dried out or what, but I just wasn't the biggest fan of it. I think I actually added some contact solution to it just to see if it did dry out and it did make my eyelashes look nice but I found like with the wand that it was always just like hitting the top of my eyelid so I always had like the mascara on top and yeah I don't know the hype about this I'm not that crazy about it like my eyelashes looked nice but I just was always wiping 
away the mascara and I just kind of felt like it was more of a dry um, consistency than I like. I used up this Mella bath from Nature with Love, Cocoa Coffee Scrub, oh my god I love this bath scrub. I'm debating purchasing it like in a bigger bottle. It just smelled so good and it was like so rough and exfoliating and that's the kind of exfoliation I like. So yeah, I really 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 like this and the bottle's really cute, it's like a little mason jar. I am throwing out this, it's not really a beauty thing but I'll include it. By the brand, I have no idea. By home? By Griffin, I don't know what it's called. Oh, eye trip. Um, this did not work for my car. I tried this so many times. I spent like $30 on it or $40 on it. No matter what I did, there was always white noise. Always. No matter what I did. So I ended up just buying one off of eBay for like $10. So this is for um, your car to listen to your music on your phone and that. Just in, in case, because I didn't explain. Yeah, I bought one off of eBay for $10. It's wireless, so I don't even have to stick this in my phone. It's so much better. This was terrible. I even googled how to get this to work and everyone was just complaining about it and returned it for refunds. So yeah, don't get the eye trip by Griffin. It doesn't work. I used up this Mizan Joyful Time Essence Mask Acai, Acai Berry. Um, I'm pretty sure I really, really like this and it smelled really, really good. But yeah, another sheet mask. I love sheet masks. I used up this Touch in Soul No Pore Balloon Primer. Such a cute name. I really, really like this. It's like a pore minimizing primer that fills your pores and your wrinkles. And yeah, I'd buy this. I used up this The Body Shop Nero Neroli Jasmine Body Lotion. I hated this. It was really, really moisturizing, but the scent was like so grandma-y, like it was so florally and just too much. I think I used it on my feet to use it up because like I hated it on my body. So yeah, good the quality lotion, but the scent was awful. I used up this Nip and Fab Hydrate Dragon's Blood Fix Plumping Serum. I really, really liked this. I felt like I saw such a difference in my skin when I was using it. I'm, I was looking for it on Shoppers and I finally found it. And I saw that everything was on sale except for it, so I didn't want to spend $20 for like the full size. But I think next time I go, I'm going to because I really, really enjoyed this. I used up this Luke Total Skin Solution Collagen Hydrogel Eye Patch. It works. I like it. It's weird because it doesn't feel like really like wet under your eyes, but yeah, no complaints. I used up two more toothpaste. One the Pro Health and one the Pro Health Advanced by Crest. I always use Crest toothpaste. I like Crest toothpaste. And yeah, it works. And so the last three things I have, I used up this Feel Renewed Pumpkin Walnut Facial Cleanser. Oh my god, this smelled amazing. I loved how it exfoliated my skin. And yeah, I would totally buy this. I used up this Narciso Rodriguez for her perfume. I don't remember it, so I feel like I didn't like it. I mean like I don't hate it but it's not my favorite sign. And the last thing I used up, oh I lied, found another perfume. I used up this Viva La Juicy perfume. I wasn't, I didn't really think I liked this at first but I think this grew on me. I would buy the full size and yeah. I don't know, I'm not going to try to explain the scents because I suck at that. Okay, so the last thing I have is by Neutrogena. Neutrogena, it's their Hydra Boost Gel Cream. I didn't feel like it was overly hydrating for my skin, but I didn't hate it at the same time. I don't think I'd go out of my way to purchase it unless it was on sale for like a really, really cheap price. Yeah. But yeah, so that's all my empties. Hopefully I can edit this video down so it's not... 20 minutes like it is right now. Hopefully I went in uh, enough detail for you. I didn't want to go on too much detail and like be here forever. Um, but yeah, if you guys have any questions, feel free to ask them down below. I always respond. Um, but yeah, if, if you guys like this video, like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff down below. Do you guys have any like holy grail products that like when you run out of them, you get like so sad that they're like your empties and they're your garbage or like just me? Um, but yeah, I hope you guys are having a great day or had a great day, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.